This is how to remove the fake ADW cleaner from your computer. Step 1 is to open the file. Wait for the file to load. The file is loading into memory. It may take a few minutes as it needs to verify with the server. Step 2. Click the scan button. Click it once. It will crash for a second, then recover. It may crash. Do not stress out. This is normal. It will now scan. As soon as it's found the fake infections, you need to click clean and enter the registration code that is on your screen now. Pause the video to write it down, or you can buy or you can find the registration key in the description below. As soon as ADW, this fake ADW cleaner, has finished scanning, we will be entering the we'll be entering that six-digit code into the registration key box. A slight problem with the AD, this fake ADW cleaner, you can make it as big as big and small as you want. That's an idiotic way of saying, hey look, we only put like 10 seconds into this program. So I'd say, if it looks if it looks fishy, don't download it. As soon as it's done scanning, we'll be good to go. Once it's done, click OK to close the important note message box. Then click clean. Give it a moment and it will crash again, and then it will, fi it will finally crash. It will nag you to upgrade to the full version. The full version is just the official version, which is just overpriced. The sale will end at any time. Do not click do not click buy now, which will come up here. But since the website is down, the pay now button will not pop up. You need to click after purchase, your serial number will be emailed to you. Click here to enter it. And enter it in there. Once you have entered it, click accept. Once you have entered it, click accept and you will be good to go. Now what you can do is you can download Malwarebytes anti-malware by going to your Internet Explorer or your favorite web browser and by going to Malwarebytes oops, Malwarebytes dot org And then click free version download. You keep popping up that. Go away, you. Get out of here. You're almost there, it will say. You need to download the free version for home. This will install a nice little icon on your desktop so you can use this whenever you have a malware infection. Like this. Click run to run the file. It shouldn't take too long, depending on your internet connection speed. Malwarebytes is usually 252 megabytes. The, on the offline installer is 282 megabytes. We'll wait for this to finish.
Once Malwarebytes has finished downloading, click Yes. Click OK. Now on the installer, click Next. Instead of, you will find out that Next button is faded out. Click I accept the agreement. You can either tick the box there or just click it. Then click Next. Then click Next again. You can change the file directory, but you can change that, but if you just want to keep it as the C drive, you can. Click Next. This will add it to the start menu, which is this thing here. Click Next to continue. You can create a desktop icon, which will come up here. You can also click next to do that. Then click install. It will extract the files to the C drive. As soon as it's done extracting the files, it would automatically ask you to up. It would ask you to run the file. Once it's done that, you can scan your computer. You need to untick the following. Enable free trial of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Premium. And keep launch Malwarebytes Anti-Malware ticked. Then click finish. Once it's done loading, you can close all of your Internet Explorer windows or File Explorer windows. This is Malwarebytes. What you can do now is that you can now click Scan Now. You can skip this update, but I'd recommend that you don't, as it will download the latest database for you. And if you skip the database update, it might not work. Malwarebytes has found out this already. And while it's scanning, you can go to the dashboard and check it out. It's currently updating database at the moment. You can either skip the update, so that's what we'll do, just to speed things up. It's now going to warm up. It's doing a pre-scan operation. As soon as this is done, we'll be good to go. We'll speed this bit up. It will continue scanning until it's done. It's now scanning memory objects. It doesn't tell you what memory objects it's scanning. the scan. You should never cancel the scan if it's scanning for viruses or anti ill or malware. Only do this in emergency. If you're slowing down your computer, you can cancel it or pause it and run it at a different and run it at a separate time. If your computer is really slow, you can pause the scan and then run it as soon as you exit the computer. Or you can just do the following. This is this is step number two. Or tip two. You can delete the folder or the file that it came in. Right click on Recycle Bin, hit Empty Recycle Bin, then click Yes. Now you need to go to the following percent sign A P P D A T A percentage sign App Data. So take you to your roaming folder where you need to go to View Hidden Items. My this is where you need to go to app data, your roaming, no, your local folder, and where it says 6 AEW cleaner, remove that. It's open already. Wow, what the heck. So we'll open task manager. Okay, sweet. And now we'll give it a retry. There we go. So you delete that from local. Then you need to go into your programs. No, scratch that. And then that's it. Empty the recycle bin, and you are now free to do whatever you want with your computer. So this is the removal guide. I do apologize if I was a little bit sketchy. It's my first time doing my first time doing a removal guide. So I thank you guys for watching, and the game with more signing out.